everyone, I'm Rhino Clavin with your Diz Daily Fix for Thursday, February 16th, 2017, and here's what's happening today. First up, the Disneyland Resort has announced that Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout will open at Disney California Adventure on May 27th, 2017 as part of their Summer of Heroes promotion. The update to the Tower of Terror attraction will feature an all-new storyline, plus a random soundtrack and ride profile. In addition to the new attraction, guests will be able to enjoy the Guardians of the Galaxy awesome dance-off, hosted by none other than Star-Lord himself. And there'll be a new meet-and-greet with everyone's favorite talking tree, Groot, who will join Captain America and Spider-Man for appearances. During the Summer of Heroes, guests can also check out the Avengers Training Initiative, where young recruits will learn from Black Widow and Hawkeye what it takes to be an Avenger. Black Widow will also be arriving on an armored Avengers vehicle uh, several times throughout the day for a heroic encounter. Sounds a little Marvel uh, Marvel Heroes Island at uh, Islands of Adventure to me, but whatever. Uh, The Summer of Heroes would not be complete without some specially themed merchandise and food options as well that will be available throughout Hollywood land. Uh, This sounds awesome to me and like some great Marvel additions to the park. I'm super excited to see it. Um, I'll be out the first week of March and we will keep you posted on the progress of the transformation of Tower of Terror into Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, Yeah, so that's very exciting. Up next, we also have a pretty exciting uh, rumor situation. Uh, WDW Magic, an unofficial Disney fan site and forum, may have discovered some permits for what might be a gondola transportation system. The gondola system could transport guests from and between Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation. Uh, The uh, expansion of the monorail has for years been seen as way too expensive, but speculation is that a gondola system might be an economical way to create another um, alternative transportation system. The Skyway, an attraction in the Magic Kingdom, was a similar gondola system that closed on November 9th, 1994. Much smaller scale. This one seems that it's going to be a new, larger, uh, more... uh, able to transport more guests and include air conditioning, which I'm sold on the air conditioning right away. Um, if you're having trouble picturing it, I'd, I'd look up a video of the Emirates airline cable car system, uh, that was built in London for the 2012 Olympics. When I saw that, I had a much better understanding of what Disney could create with this type of system. And honestly, anything that gets people off the roadway, uh, it's a okay by me. Now, our final story has um, has to do with an interesting survey that could be hinting at future additions to Universal City Walk here in Orlando. A survey has been sent out by the Universal Orlando Resort asking guests how they would rate potential additions to City Walk. Um, for those who are unfamiliar, City Walk is Universal's entertainment and retail district that sits right outside of the two uh, the two current theme parks. Uh, the third theme park will be down the street a little bit, but. Either way, uh, the survey provided uh, six options and participants were asked to list what interested them the most and what interested them the least. Now, the potential new experiences included uh, roller skating, uh, an Apple store, and a Saturday Night Live themed lounge, among others. That Saturday Night Live lounge sounds pretty cool. Um, There's certainly no guarantee that any of the ideas in the survey will be built, but it is certainly appealing to know that Universal, what they're considering um, for additions there. Uh, Well, there were some restaurant experiences like a German beer hall, French bistro, and a seafood restaurant. It seems as if Universal listed a number of, like, experience-type venues, like a bowling alley, a trampoline park, and a comedy club, and a number of stage shows. Um, But seriously, whatever ends up going in, I think we're all in for a treat because Universal is basically on fire with the additions that they've made over the last few years. And I I think that no matter what it is, it's going to be a great, uh, great addition to the guest experience over there. So looking forward to that. Um, Now over on the Diz today, our featured article comes from Jason Post, who has come up with a list of the best nacho locations in all of Disney and Universal. First of all, Jason, that's nacho business. Secondly, you can check out that delicious article and many more on WDWinfo.com. Trending on Disboards today is a thread discussing those gondola, um, that gondola story we had, we told you about earlier. There's lots of excitement surrounding uh, this rumor, and folks are weighing in with their ideas on how they think this type of transportation might work at Walt Disney World. Um, look for that thread entitled Skyway on Steroids, all in caps there, Gondola Rumors, started by poster WED, W-E-D, WDW on the rumors and news forum at disboards.com. Now, finally, 
I know, your favorite part of the show. It's the weather. Out in Anaheim today, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high around 70 and a low around 56. Tomorrow, it's looking to be a little rainy with highs around 60 and lows in the mid 50s. Here in Orlando today is sunny with a high around 72. It's very nice outside right now, and it's going to have a low this evening around 46. Tomorrow will warm up just a little bit with high around 78 and lows in the upper 50s. For links to everything that was discussed in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. That's going to do it for me today. I'll see you all tomorrow. That's right, another day of Rhino for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone.